My name is William. I'm doing a competitive analysis on the weapons found in Doom Eternal. Doom Eternal was released March 2022 across multiple platforms. The game is fast paced and includes 10 different weapons. Each weapon is unique and most weapons have a modification. The weapon that's currently on the screen is the shotgun. You start with this weapon and the two modifications are sticker grenades which can attach to enemies and an automatic fire mode which can quickly dispatch enemies. The weapon that was just picked up is a chainsaw. It is a close range weapon that has a unique cooldown mechanism called fuel. You need fuel in, you, in order to use the chainsaw and it can quickly cut through enemies. This is the heavy cannon. The heavy cannon is the machine gun of the game. It has two modifications, which is a sniper mode and a micro missile mode. Sniper mode obviously is for long range and the micro missiles are for close range. The next weapon that was collected is the frag grenades. Nothing so special about this weapon it is your typical over the shoulder weapon that can be thrown at enemies and cause splash damage. This is a plasma rifle. Plasma rifle is good for destroying shields and has two modifications, a short range burst and a laser beam. The beam can be attached to enemies and cause consistent damage over time. This is the flame belch. This weapon acts like a grenade and has a unique cooldown and is a flamethrower which can be used on enemies to cause them to drop armor shards. This is the missile launcher which has two modifications, a remote detonation which allows you to fire a rocket and detonate it at any range you want, and a lock on burst mode which allows you to lock onto an enemy and fire three rockets at once. This weapon is the super shotgun, which does not have a modification, but can be used to take out enemies at close range. It does have a special feature, which is called the meat hook, which allows you to grapple to certain points in the game and grapple to enemies. This weapon is the Basilisk, which is a combination of a long range and can be used as close range weapon also. It has two modifications, which fires a spike, which is a charged up energy shot, and it has a destroyer blade, which fires a wide arc, which fires horizontally across the screen. This weapon is a chain gun, which fires high fires at a high rate of fire, of high rate, and it has two modifications. It has a turret mode, which allows you to improve 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 your damage, but it's stationary, and it has an energy shield, which can protect you from damage. Here you can see the BFG 9000, big freaking gun. It fires a strong energy blast which can take out enemies very quickly, but ammo is very scarce. This weapon is the Crucible, 
which is a very strong close range melee weapon. Um, you need to charge up energy by getting kills in order to use this weapon, but it can defeat some enemies, even bosses, with one or two hits. <laughs> This weapon is called the Unmaker. The Unmaker is a special hidden weapon that you get after you complete the game, and it literally unmakes enemies. It is extremely powerful and uses ammo, argent energy as its energy source. As I mentioned before, in Doom Eternal there is multiple weapons, and many of them have modifications which changes the way that each weapon handles and performs. I hope you enjoyed my competitive analysis of the weapons found in Doom Eternal.